Japanese drilling boat to probe the Earth's mantle. This Japanese drilling boat could soon be the first ever vessel to penetrate the Earth's mantle. The Earth's mantle is found deep beneath the planet's crust and is much thinner on the ocean floor than on land. It's with this in mind that scientists plan to use the Chikyu drill boat to bore into the mantle by 2030. After sinking four kilometers to the ocean floor, the boat would drill through six kilometers of crust before reaching the mantle. The researchers want to investigate the mantle itself and also if microorganisms exist within it. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Stay glued to your screen for more on the wee blue miracle we all call home. Super volcano stirs under millions in Italy. A supervolcano that last erupted nearly 500 years ago is showing signs of reawakening. The Campi Frigre supervolcano lies beneath the Bay of Naples in southern Italy and contains 24 craters along with numerous geysers and vents. According to scientists, there has been a recent decrease in gas pressure at the supervolcano. There has also been a recent increase in the temperature of the supervolcano's hydrothermal reservoir. The combination of these two factors means the magma may be approaching critical degassing pressure, which could lead to volatility and even culminate in an eruption. Campi Frigre is Italian for burning fields. The supervolcano is eight miles wide and sits directly under more than half a million people. Campi Frigre spewed ash across Europe for eight consecutive days when it last erupted in 1538. The Italian government has raised the threat level of the supervolcano from green to yellow, meaning that it now requires scientific monitoring. Coral bleaching is killing the Great Barrier Reef. Scientists are warning that vast swaths of Australia's stunningly beautiful Great Barrier Reef may never recover from repeated coral bleaching. The Great Barrier Reef is 2,300 kilometers long and covers an area of more than 344,000 square kilometers. This is similar to the size of Japan. However, studies suggest the reef is under threat from repeated bleaching of its corals caused by rising sea temperatures. Corals are marine animals that live in compact colonies of tiny identical individual polyps. Coral polyps produce a limestone skeleton. Layering that takes place over hundreds of years by millions of polyps creates a scaffolding, better known as a reef. Most corals get their food from the microscopic algae that live inside their tissue. The algae convert energy from the sun into food, mostly in the form of sugar. It is the algae that provide coral reefs with their vibrant color. Coral bleaching mainly occurs when a rise in sea temperatures causes the algae to produce toxins. In self-defense, the corals then expel the algae, which exposes their limestone skeleton. Corals can recover if there's a subsequent drop in water temperatures, but without the algae, they risk starving to death. Scientists have warned for decades that burning fossil fuels releases greenhouse gases that warm the oceans and put coral at risk. In turn, that jeopardizes the marine ecosystem, including fish that rely on the reefs to protect them from predators. This could in turn spark a food shortage because hundreds of millions of people worldwide rely on reef fish as their primary source of protein. In order to reduce ocean temperatures and give bleached reefs a chance to recover, greenhouse gas emissions must be reduced. Greenhouse gas emissions can be cut by reducing meat consumption and using solar and electric energy instead of fossil fuels. So if we want future generations to enjoy the beauty of the Great Barrier Reef, it seems it really is up to us. Satellites detect serpentine iron jet stream at Earth's core. Scientists have discovered something big, thick, and as hot as the sun that's quickly coiling around the center of the Earth. European Space Agency satellites have detected a large jet stream of liquid iron flowing beneath Earth's surface at a quickening pace. The stream is moving westward beneath Canada and Russia at a pace of 30 miles per year. Lead researcher Phil Livermore explained the discovery as an accelerating band of molten iron circling the North Pole like the jet stream in the atmosphere. This molten jet stream might be caused by buoyant forces in the Earth's core or variations in the magnetic field within the core. And no, before you ask, it's not Marijuana Man's fabled trouser snake. We know, we, we already checked. 
Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. New study reveals cause of glacier melt in Greenland. During the summer of 2015, Greenland experienced its highest rate of glacier melt ever recorded. A study shows the record high melt is linked to the effects of a phenomenon known as Arctic amplification. Arctic amplification refers to the faster warming of the Arctic compared to the rest of the Northern Hemisphere as sea ice disappears. It is fueled by a feedback loop. Rising global temperatures are melting Arctic sea ice, leaving dark open water that absorbs more solar radiation, further warming the Arctic. According to the study, the atmosphere and the oceans combined are contributing to the melting of vast ice sheets off the coast of northern Greenland. The effects of Arctic amplification are unknown, but scientists believe it can change the Arctic jet stream flow, which circles the northern latitudes. Jet streams are narrow bands of strong winds in the upper atmosphere that follow the boundaries of hot and cold air. In the Arctic's case, frigid polar air is separated from warmer air in the south. A slowdown in the jet stream would cause wilder swings and allow it to bend farther north than usual, creating a high-pressure system called a cutoff high. The cutoff high draws in warm air from lower latitudes, leading to greater ice melt conditions. The study found that during the warmest summer in Greenland, the jet stream reached latitudes never before recorded during that time of year. The Arctic amplification is now cited as the cause for the melting of Greenland's ice sheet, which is the Earth's second largest after Antarctica. The ice sheet holds enough ice that if it were to melt entirely, it would raise the average global sea level by about 7 meters and lead to ocean warming worldwide.